In the 1700s, what is now Haiti was called the Jewel of the Caribbean and supplied about 40% of the world's sugar. In 1791, the government of France passed legislation to phase out slavery in its Caribbean colonies and grant the former Negro slaves citizenship. Rather than becoming citizens, Haiti's Negro population mass murdered all whites and mulattoes who could not flee the island in time. In 1804, only full-blooded Negroes remained and Haiti became the first Negro-ruled nation. The Haitian Revolution dominated Americans' debate over slavery. While both the North and the South agreed that slavery should be ended, Southerners and a large percentage of Northerners universally opposed having a large population of freed slaves living in their midst. The Haitian Revolution was fresh in everyone's mind. The jewel of the Caribbean is now a desolate cesspool that is exporting almost no sugar. The United States decided to take up the white man's burden and send the U.S. Marine Corps to rebuild Haiti's infrastructure and feed its starving population. The United States gave huge amounts of money to Haiti and oversaw the building of thousands of miles of road, telephone lines, modernized its ports, and helped Haiti to start exporting sugar once again. The U.S. also put an end to the thousands of bayonets along Haiti's borders with the Dominican Republic. The U.S. left in 1934 at the request of the then stabilized and very ungrateful Haitian government. Haiti immediately sank straight back into total desolation strife. In 1973, the United States once again began playing a huge role in Haiti, giving the island huge sums of money and handouts each year. In 1994, the Clinton administration once again sent the U.S. military to rebuild the island's infrastructure. In 